Tomorrow is Friday the 17th. We have our very first test in CRNA school. Uh, we have a test over clinical anatomy. We really learned about the back, uh, the shoulder, and the um, upper limb, all about the nerve innervations, all about the muscles, all about the blood supply. Uh, so we're gonna kill the test. Uh, we actually leave tomorrow. Uh, after the test, I have a flight that I have booked for 3 p.m. So I'll be going back to Texas and then I don't have to be here until uh, next spring, actually. So, um, you know, it's really good that I'm gonna be able to leave here on a good note. I already started packing some things. As you can see, this is my room. No TV, no light, you know, nothing in here. But I'm really excited, man, just making this video as a part of this journey. Uh, we'll tap back in tomorrow after the test, let you guys know how I went, and then uh, we're gonna get back to Texas. So uh, let's get some shut eye and, um, and make it happen. I'm just waking up, it's uh, 6.45, test day. I'm about to get a little mile run in, you know what I'm saying, get the blood pumping, come back, shower up, get clean, and, uh, and then head over to take our test. So um, let me get out here and uh, get this mile in. So we finished up our morning run, showered up, meditated. Got about 15 minutes before our test. Let's get my coffee ready. The laptop on deck. Um, and now we're ready to go in, go in here and, and dominate. You know what I'm saying? Like we prepared for it. Um, right now it's just about staying calm and, and trusting the training, trusting the studying that I did. And uh, let's go ahead and get an A on this very first test. We just finished up our first test. It was about uh, 50 questions long. We had 75 minutes to take it. Uh, preliminary results said I got 40 out of 50, so I get me an 80 on the test, but we'll see if he gives us a curve. Uh, to be completely honest, I'm not too happy with that grade. Um, I don't see how I missed 10 questions, so I'm really curious to see what the review says um, from the test. But uh, yeah, man, first test done. As of right now, it looks like we have an 80. Let's hope that gets, gets curved a little bit because, I mean, 10 questions, that's a lot of questions to miss. And I don't feel like I missed that many. Like, I, I feel relatively confident in a lot of my answers. I think I maybe missed three or four, maybe. Uh, but 10 is a lot, man. Um, so I'm about to get my stuff ready and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to catch this flight back to Dallas. You know, at this point, I've, I've gotten over the, the grade that I got on my test. You know, originally, I got an 80. He did curve it a little bit to an 83. Still wanted the A, uh, but I did look at the syllabus again and just, you know, try to tell myself that I have three other tests that I'm going to be able to take. And then I still have three lab exams that I can take as well to improve this grade. You're really shooting for an A, right? Uh, so we all good now. I was a little down earlier, but we all good. Kind of changed my mindset. You know, it's about how you finish, not how you start. Uh, so if 80 is where we start, you, you know, we only look at better from here. So the next section that we're actually going over is the, uh, the neck and hip. And this is kind of where we need to be able to master this, right? Because this is where anesthesia providers are airway masters, you know, central line masters. So we need to know where the subclavian arteries are, where the subclavian veins are, you know, IJs, interjugulars. Uh, we're gonna learn a lot about the uh, the larynx and the pharynx, a lot about the cranial nerves, uh, you know, the epiglottis, all those things down there. So, uh, really excited about this next section, and uh, we're gonna shoot for our A this next time. We're supposed to be chilling tonight, but but we're gonna turn up if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. It's like 11 o'clock. It's 12. And I'm telling, who's telling the story? I'm the editor. I'm telling the story. The you know, had a glass of wine. And the homie hit me up. It was a good, you back there gulping that shit. Wasn't really feeling it. Cause you know, I really been studying hard the past couple days, but you know, it's like, if it, why not? Vlogging. 
Cordero calls it blogging. So, you know, we ended up here, downtown Dallas. Hey. Deep Ellum. It's your boy. Gang, gang. Hey. I don't know. It's like 2.05 right now. My boy Asbury. You know what I'm saying? We got her over there running plays. You get something to eat? Yeah. Because I love eating. I love food. I, was I love food. I was This point, at this me. point, it's almost five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Last when I whenever I came out, it was like ten thirty. What, what's what's your words? What's your words to the cam? Okay, what you got? I am uh, recalibrated. Um, recalibrated. Okay. Follow anything that they have said before I have made a um, appearance. But it's five a.m. in Dallas.